This episode is dedicated to Kyle. Oh, come along, boys, and listen to my tale. I tell you my troubles about the old Thank you for listening to Harrison and Cooper versus the Big Top, dropping today also on our Patreon feed. Patreon.com forward slash Sounds Like Crows is the first episode of our Mouse Guard series edited by yours truly. I'm a player on this one. I'm joined by the lovely Renee Wanger. And then our GM is Mo Scale from Discord at JackalopeArtAndDesign.com. They lead us through this wonderful world of Mouse Guard, which is about intelligent mice trying to do the the right thing and having to deal with all the problems that mice deal with like owls infestations flood it's a hoot check it out and if you want to know more about the future of this feed we will eventually return that information is in the episode titled what's next on your podcast feed directly before this chronologically And he starts flipping his wrist around real weird, like yeah. just out and in, out and in. It's making like that weird flappy sound. He just does that a whole bunch of times, and he reaches out, and he, I'm gonna cast stun. Oh, it's cloudy in the west, and it looks like rain. My darned old slickers in the wagon again. Come a tie, I yippee yippee. Come a tie, I yippee yippee. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, I pull cool. out. He he does that a bunch of times. Reaches back under his coat and just pulls out a taser stick, which is just like a cattle prod, and just zaps <laughs> okay. him. He can't tase this guy. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, uh, cool. Right, and he has to make a vigor check. It's negative two if you get a raise, right? Yes, it is. Eight. That's over with a raise. Whew. Okay. So he's at a minus two. Um, he fails. I'm gonna spend a Benny. <sighs> he fails. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how you stud this guy. So he reaches out. He just flips his wrist around a whole bunch. It's like everybody's just like they're confused. They don't yeah. know what he's doing. Flip, 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 rip, and he just drops down and just like falls prone and is <gasps> stunned. There's a gasp that runs through the crowd. Have you been a performer before? Have you been on stage? I think he just watches a lot of performances okay. in his free time. There is a moment where maybe you can grasp on to this momentum and do something with it, but things are about to be very chaotic if you do not immediately take control. So I, th- <laughs> I think he does that, and then he turns and gives like a clown like surprise face. That's like super exaggerated and like obviously putting on a show. Make a persuasion roll at negative two. I think failure is going to mean that someone else is going to have to do something quick. Otherwise, that's a fail. Cool. Um, I'll give up, Benny. No. Nope. Yeah, you give a shocked look to the crowd that does not know you are the electric man. <laughs> there is no <laughs> introduction. Uh, people like stand up and gasp. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh, don't don't worry. And he, Brendan, like, he it, starts to jump over and like run into the ring unless you want to stop him. Brendan, it's it's his act. He's the electric man. I don't think <laughs> I don't think that matters. I think he runs forward and like runs over. So what do you do? What did you do to him? Why don't you step right on over here? We have a guest. <laughs> we have a hey, fucking guest. What? <laughs> Come on over here. What he's hurt. What did you do to him? I'm the electric man. Let me show you my next trick. And he stuns him too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, roll it. This is going off the rails. No race. He's got a five. Uh, that's a success. You zap him. He goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then uh, yells into the mic a little bit, which then feedbacks in the whole like circus tent. In situations like this, I think a lot of people are just confused and aren't acting, but a lot of people are on the edge of doing something, and the staff members are starting to move. But whoever the stage manager is right now is fucking yelling in the background, and you can see them through like the door into a part of the backstage area that you were not in, and they're starting to like yell out orders to people. Now, my question is, what is Brendan doing? Is he trying to grab me? Because oh. I think if he moves towards me, what we end up with is a, uh, a streaker-esque situation where Cooper is running across this fucking circle, just trying to dodge people. If you zapped him, I think his first reaction would be to fucking punch you, dude. <laughs> I think he's going to try to punch you. Okay. I think that's his thing. Uh, what's your parry? 
Five. Okay, great. Uh, he's definitely got a D8 in fighting. He rolled snake eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Does he get wrapped up in the microphone cord? He reaches out to punch Cooper, and he, like, Jar Jar binkses around it, and then zaps him again in the butt and starts running. Okay, cool. Roll one more stun for me, if you want. Oh, I don't even think it's just the spell. It's just, just for oh, the effect. Oh, yeah, yeah, just okay, a little cool. bit of a... Yeah, he jumps up as you zap him in the butt. He goes, oh! Are people starting to think it's an act as they start clowning around with this guy even harder? I suppose that is pretty comical. Abe stands up and the people behind him go, ah, yeah. he blocks the view <laughs> even more. And he starts to clap and give this like really raucous belly laugh at what's happening. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's contagious and people start to laugh and the circus people won't interrupt something that's becoming a hit. Yeah. I'm okay with either persuasion or performance. Both are good. So I think a success is going to temporarily sort of stun the crowd, as it were. Like, it's not going to make you progress, but it's going to stop action from happening for a bit. And a raise is going to be that they genuinely burst into laughter with you. It's an infectious and they think it's part of the act. I got a three, so I'm going to Benny that. And try again. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. Uh, that's a eight minus one. So a seven. Okay, perfect. Your whole section laughs around you, and there's a brief laughter through the rest of the crowd, but as you step down to the dirt floor, people are still confused, and all three of you can see the backstage people still freaking out and moving. I think um, Harrison reaches into his briefcase. Yeah. Doesn't show the Gatling rifle that's contained inside, but he places a hand on top of it. He just whispers to himself, you did it, Cooper. You're a goddamn star. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay cool thanks all right <laughs> cut to cooper cut to cooper uh, so you're running across this massive dirt theater mm -hmm. metal circle are you running towards the backstage you didn't come from at this point i think it just kind of looks like a game of tag where brendan is chasing him still trying to fight him hey, come here, oh, and shit. i don't know if there needs to be a role here or what's going on but like as long as it's entertaining i yeah. feel like i'm doing fine yeah i'll give you a benny for fucking everybody over there coop okay <laughs> um so we've got trelawney huxley who was only stunned for a round mechanically right yeah so he's starting to pull himself up lincoln as you slam your foot down into the dirt ring while everyone is distracted, I want to stride over to the ringmaster and tower over him and ask him, where is Bethany? Ah, oh my God, that was quite a shock and a fright. Who is Bethany? Bethany, it sounds like, was your star act for tonight. She will not be appearing. Well, you, you can't possibly be talking about our newest acquisition. Is she big? Bigger than anything you've ever seen. That sounds right. Where is she? Make an intimidation roll, Lincoln. And get a plus one from Cooper stunning the shit out of this dude. <laughs> That's a four plus one, so a success. Oh, perfect. But she was going to be brought out through there. And he like points past where Cooper is running around in the circle uh, towards the door that Huxley came from initially. Why would any rightly earthly creature care a damn thing about that monster? Bethany is the only thing that's still good in this godforsaken country. Maybe someday you'll understand. And he kicks him in the head. Let's have you make a fighting roll, Abraham Lincoln. How about a, a nine? Hit with a raise. Five damage. That is not enough to shake him. I think you kick towards his head. He pulls his head backwards, but he does like a stage hit. So it looks like you kicked him really hard, but in reality, you missed him. And as he like slams back into the dirt, he looks up to you and yells to the crowd. These are assailants. Help me. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's deal this shift. Let's deal this shift. Oh, no. Dr. Trelawney Huxley goes first here. You're in for a pickle. I think he will roll back up to his feet using his cane to steady him, and he'll hold his cane in his left hand, digging it into the dirt as he throws out his right hand in that classic psychic maneuver and kind of exaggeratedly cocks his head to one side and strains. You're not sure if it's for the performance or if he actually needs to do that for what he's about to do, which is take over your goddamn mind. Um, I'm going to spend his second Benny. I got three GM Bennies left. Looks like a nine, buddy. Ooh, that is a four. 
I'm gonna let him do it. I'm not gonna Benny it. I'm gonna let him take over. Good luck. <laughs> Uh-oh. Caleb, this is starting to remind me of the lion. <laughs> <laughs> so with a success, he would just get to issue like commands to you, but with a raise, uh, he gets complete control over you, which means if he didn't get a raise, uh, he couldn't choose which like edges and stuff you used, but now he sort of can. Abe feels this power going into his mind and it pierces his head almost like a bullet. He grabs at the sides of his skull for just a second, then his hands go limp and they knock his sunglasses aside. We see his eyes for the first time and they're completely filled with blood, making him look even more inhuman. Can you give you Benny for that description as he points towards Cooper near the ring? Kill the electric man! And he yells into the mic, not to the crowd, but to the people and the staff listening from behind the scenes. Bring out the final act! Harrison, your turn. Harrison, with his hand on his rifle, just stands up and lets the case fall to the ground, drops his bag of popcorn, takes aim at this doctor. I'm going to fire at this guy twice. So I have uh, improved trademark weapon, so it just cancels out the multi-action penalty, and I've got a rate of fire of two. All right, so I got a 10 that blew up. Beautiful. We're looking at a 14, so hit with the raise, I'll roll damage. Do you like that you're just standing up a crowd and just fucking shooting <laughs> at the middle? <laughs> yeah, do I get any negatives for the crowd? Um, no, you guys were up front, if you weren't up front. Cool, so that first shot is going to be 12. He takes one wound. Okay, so my next action, I'm doing the same thing. See if I can hit him. I got a, a five and a six. That's two hits then. No raise. That's eight for the first hit. So he's taking a second wound. And seven for the second. He's taking a third wound. And that's all I got. So it's just a really close-up shot of uh, this new Gatling rifle. Yeah. As the barrels start to spin really fast. And you just see this flurry of bullets kind of open up into the, the center of this ring. Dust is flying everywhere. With three wounds, I guess some of those connected. Yeah, I mean, bullets are, like, pierced through his bright red vest, and new red pours out on top of it. He, like, gasps into the mic, and the whole crowd is shocked, suddenly aware that this is not in any way part of any act. Uh, Cooper, you're up next. Cooper's still running around this ring. Yeah. I think he comes, uh... I think what he actually does is just runs like another loop around this thing and just gets back over to Trelawney and just stuns him again. Okay, great. Great. So make your roll. Uh, that's a nine. Cool. So that's with a raise, so he gets a negative two. And then he's also getting a negative three, so he's getting a negative five. He blew up an eight, though. Sorry, pal. Into a seven. Uh, so he made it. He made it with a raise. He made it with a raise, huh? Maybe it's like a... The bullets that are still in him, like, kind of channel the electricity away from where it would stun him, you know? Mm -hmm. And sort of, like, burn parts of his chest instead of stunning his muscles. (laughs) (laughs) He just gets electrocuted. Yeah, he just gets electrocuted. Cooper keeps running. (laughs) Okay, cool, cool. Things happen backstage. You can hear a large cage being rolled and, like, uh, some people shouting back and forth. One of them's going to try to do a thing, and I'm going to roll for it real quick. They rolled a one. So there's a large, like, shink, like a scraping of metal. And then um, on top of the panicking, fleeing people, I think Cooper is the only one that sees people start to run from the backstage area into the tent that has live fire going as if they're running away from something. He like slides in this dirt, turns around and starts running back towards Brennan. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, well, Brendan, it's his turn next and he sees you running towards him and he goes, I'm going to get in a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a fighting run. Run, Brennan, run. No, I'm going to beat you up. He's got uh, a nine, but he's just doing unarmed. Um, I don't think he has any edges for it or anything. So that's um, a seven against your parry. That's a hit. No raise. Okay, cool. So then he just rolls strength, which is a D10. He does four damage. As Cooper is like skirting past him, I think he reaches out and like punches him in the side. And he says, ow, Brennan, run. 
and just keeps running past him. <laughs> great, great. Uh, as you run past him, you see your, uh, you see Eagle, because it's his turn. Eagle, your instructions are very clear. Kill the electric man. Make that spirit roll. Got a success, no raise. So So what stops you from moving in this moment as you see Cooper run towards you and almost every fiber of your being wants you to kill him with your axe? I draw my axe and hold it above my head two-handed like I'm going to throw it. And right before I do, I think I hear a noise from Bethany backstage. Yeah. What does that sound like? (laughs) It is a low deep pitched rumbling beginnings of a roar that turns into the sound of twisting metal this massive cage accidentally opened that she starts to push her way out of her first foot slams down into the ground claws uh, sharp nails dig into the ground as the second one of this large bipedal beast clops into the ground and it progressively moves faster and faster into a run catching up to the fleeing extras in front of her picking up one in its large jaws throwing it into the air and swallowing them in a single gulp as bethany the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I fucking comes knew it. <laughs> into the circus ring. Abe looks still kind of like he's lost in a dream, but he looks up and just says, Bethany. <laughs> Should we, do we make fear checks now or later? Yes, a fear at negative two. Um, for you, Abe, it's, it is a fear check at negative two, but if you fail, I think it's going to pull you out of your the spell. Instead of you being feared. I pass. I got it with a raise. Hell yeah. I also got it with a raise, which is not helpful. <laughs> not helpful. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, who should I roll for in here? We'll roll Brendan. for Brendan, who fails. Um, Brendan's dead, dude. He has a heart attack. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I rolled a you 20. You just rolled a 20. Yeah, rolled a I 20. saw him do yeah. it. No, Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> So he makes a bigger roll. Yeah, Brendan actually dies from a heart attack. (laughs) (laughs) I rolled it all out. That's the way she goes. That's the way she goes. (laughs) That's crazy. Oh my god! Brendan, no! Okay, yes. Uh, Let's roll for Trelawney. He's got pretty good spirit, but it's at negative three. He fails. Um, Roll. He does not have a heart attack. Okay, Cooper. You get a jack of clubs. Harrison, you get a five of clubs. Hit you. I got quick. Cool. Six? Damn it. Damn. (laughs) That's literally the lowest you can get. Um, Abraham Lincoln, you get a two and a six, so you get the two. And the card you can deal out is a king. Hey. Do you want that to go? I'll give Harrison that king. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. You're very welcome. Um, And Bethany gets a joker. No. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) No. Uh, Bethany <laughs> lets out a roar into the crowd as she starts to march into the stands, taking what she can. So she's going to make two wild attack fighting rolls against the crowd. Easily hits one, easily hits the other. The second one is a raise. I'm just doing this so you guys know how much damage she does. 13 damage as she just chomps down on one person, and then the other person uh, takes... Uh, 24 damage. She's just ripping and tearing. What was her bonus to hit? Her bonus to hit? Oh, she's just got a D10 fighting. Okay. Her claws just squash seats in big clumps as she goes after the crowd, and then she starts moving. She's got a pace of uh, six, so she's just as fast as humans, and she's starting to move up into the stands kind of towards you guys, but like circling around the tent where all of you are in the dirt ring. That's uh, Bethany's turn. On to Harrison. Excellent. Well, you know, this doctor's still up. He's not even stunned. Yeah. So... He's still convulsing (laughs) on the ground, though. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but it's in my best interest not to move because of rock and roll. I'm just going to keep shooting at this guy. Okay, great. Sorry. This will probably just be a how-do-you-kill-him moment. I hope so. Okay, so that Tim blows up. 
I got a 17 and a 5 to hit. Yeah, I mean, hit and hit with the raise. Hell yeah. So let's do the hit with the raise first. Let's if, see if I can clean this up. If you can do 6 damage, I think he's dead. Come on, give me, give me that 6 damage. Oh, my oh God, we got it. it. That is actually 8 damage. How do you kill the magical, marvelous mentalist, Dr. Trelawney Huxley? What's his reaction to this? t-rex busting through well he just got fucking shot a lot yeah with a bunch of rounds so he's reeling from that he drops to the ground blood pouring out like running down his arm in a river covering his his gold fingertips now stained in like blood and the mud and he looks up and he just says i never even got to see her perform and then he gets gunned down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As Harrison slowly begins to make his way down the stands. With that, Abe, you like shudder and step forward and you look up and you can see your marvelous Bethany devouring whoever she can. Cooper, it's your turn. So Cooper runs over to Brennan. Oh, 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 oh Brennan. Oh, oh, no. This is how my dad died. Oh no, oh no. And then the T-Rex is like just rampaging in front of him and I think yeah. he looks up. There's a long moment where he's just staring up at this T-Rex. He reaches up and pulls off his glasses and drops to his knees. They've got a T-Rex. <laughs> They've got a T-Rex. <laughs> and then he looks back over his shoulder and sees Huxley get gunned down and Abe start to like move I think he's going to hold and let Abe do his action first. Cool. Okay. Yeah, Abe, what do you want to do? Now that he has control of his facilities again, uh, talking almost to himself, says, Oh, she's tasted blood. She's hungry. I can do this. And starts to run at her, and his plan is to climb her leg and try to get up onto her shoulders and uh, ride her out until she's calm again. Great. This is going to be a skill challenge. Uh -oh. We're going to need, uh, we're going to say 10 successes, you guys. Oh, yikes. 10 successes to bring uh, Bethany under, you know, back under the control of good old Abe Lincoln. So for your benefit, Nick, um, a skill challenge is sort of, if you can justify any skill to me that could aid in her eventually you know and the, if the end goal is you riding this t-rex right whether it's these guys slowing her down whether it's feeding her whether it's just a straight athletics roll to climb her all of that's good and then we'll just slowly build up 10 successes slash raises and you'll just be rolling against a four pretty much always and then every success and raise gives you one towards the 10 if you have a clubs you get negative two towards helping the skill challenge but currently you do not Okay, so let's roll my athletics to try and climb Bethany and see how it goes. <laughs> That's a success. Got a five. So I think you wait for her as she runs and you, you wait and get into place. And then just at the right moment, you jump up and barely grab onto her side as she runs by you. We see Abe Lincoln clasping onto the gigantic thigh of Bethany the T-Rex as she's stomping around, probably still eating people. Cooper, what do you want to do? You see Abraham Lincoln jump onto one of the legs. Uh, he puts his glasses back on and starts running towards it. I think he knows that we're trying to subdue this T-Rex. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Stun. That's Great. what I'm, yeah, I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. do mad out. science. <laughs> Checks out. Uh, I succeeded, no raise. You can definitely see its leg, like, quiver and kind of, like, tense up a little bit as you shock it. And he says, oh, shit, oh, shit. And he looks down and he turns the dial up from, like, 3 to, like, 15. With that, Bethany moves up through the stands and she grabs one of the supporting pillars of the tent and rips it back with her mouth, ripping a hole in the side of the tent and at the same time starting a collapse of this thing behind you. I'd like to have both Harrison and Cooper make agility rolls as you see the massive tent pole that holds up the center of the thing start to fall towards you as the whole tent starts to collapse. I got a six. I got a six as well. Both of you managed to run out the whole Bethany created as the screams are muffled from behind you. Nine of spades for Cooper, 10 of diamonds for Harrison. Beautiful, no, no clubs. Abraham Lincoln, you get an ace of diamonds and a queen of diamonds. Oh, nice. So you end up with a queen. Um, and then you also have a four of spades you can give out. 
we're going to give Bethany a card for fun because she's just going to start ripping and tearing. Um, she gets a nine of clubs. So first up, Abraham Lincoln. Abe from his is going to continue to try to get on top since he only got halfway up of Bethany. So he's going to try to climb into, he has a nice saddle made for her, but she's not wearing it. It's some sort yeah. of weird circus costume with feathers on top. Oh yeah, that's good. He'll have to hold on to, but he's got to finish climbing before he can uh, whisper to her the, the secret phrases that calm her down. <laughs> that's another five. So that's another success. Yeah, you start to make a progress, I think. Maybe you get up to, like, almost the hip or something. Like, pull mm -hmm. yourself on one side of the leg. It's still jarring and juddering. And as you look around, you can see now you're in, like, one of the main thoroughfares. And Bethany doesn't stop, but you see her head rise up, these feathers catching the moonlight as she roars. And ahead of you is just a sea of people fleeing. She knocks over a popcorn cart. And then we move on to Harrison. I think Harrison and Cooper made it out because they're at the center and there's like a hole There's like a in the, yeah. in the top of it. Oh, yeah. And as it fell, they just kind of wound up directly in that hole. So now they're looking around at all these people underneath the tarp trying to escape. Yeah. And the tarp's probably pretty heavy. Plus, they're, yeah. they're trampling each other, trying to get out. So that's the scene. As I look around, I see this T-Rex. How far away is it? Like 50 feet away from me, let's say. Okay, so it's still pretty far. Well, I got an idea of how I can do a skill challenge, but... I think I have to be in melee range. Uh, that's that's so, fine. I think you can just describe yourself catching up somehow. Just tell me how that happens. I think I'm going to cast fly. Cool. Uh. Oh, finally. If you got a raise, since it's not combat, let's say the raise lets you, uh, you can still do something to affect the skill challenge this time. You've already warmed up the propellers. They just uh, launch into action and you launch off the ground. I think if you if you want to, Alex, I'm okay with you taking an action this round. Okay, since I got a raise, I have a flying pace of 24 inches. Amazing. Which is yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. So as I fly over there towards this T-Rex, I reach my duster. I pull out another one of those syringes, this time of a different color. And I try and jam it into this T-Rex. So the camera shot like stays real tight on you and like a really unrealistic shot as you launch up the ground, catch eyes on it, and then swoop in. And it's like a big set piece that they built in Universal Studios or something where you can see the tents on either side, crowd running away in front of it, light posts on either side of it, or like lanterns that have been set up as you dive down to stab it in the back. Well, that's a, definitely a success with the raise. It's two blow-ups. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's an 11 both ways. Um, wow. So I'm just casting uh, Sloth on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you just narratively tell me how it, like, sedates it a little bit? I mean, because that would be a sedative, you know? Yeah, it's definitely some sort of sedative. With my ability to fly, I can reach this thing's neck. And I think as it's biting into um, another one of these spectators yeah yeah it just sees movement through the tarp and it just bites this guy out of it <sighs> yeah that's cool. bringing up the tarp with it harrison takes his chance to uh fly in there and thrust one of these syringes into his neck and luckily he got the right one i think the camera follows you as you leave the syringe like in its neck and then fly off and it, it looks very human for a moment as it like it looks like it has a crink in its neck as it pulls back and then it very slowly because of how large it is it does like a wet dog shake and like Lincoln you barely hold on as it releases the tent it just grabbed that gets caught around its leg and it doesn't even seem to notice and as it pulls this like 20 previously 20 foot tall tent behind it that starts to like get caught up in various carts and vendors on the side of the road. Cooper, I think you go before it. How many successes do we have? Five of ten. Five out of ten. I'm going to be casting Mad Science, and depending on how well this goes, ooh, that is a success with a raise. So what Cooper's doing is he sees Harrison shoot off above him and like fly over to this thing, and he just gets like a nice long running shot where he's running over this tent. I think somehow there's a path where uh, like where the T-Rex went where there's no people trapped underneath it. Yeah. So he's not stepping on people as he's running. He kind of starts running. He sees this thing start to get slowed and turn away. And he just yeets a freaking blitz bottle as far as he can trying to get it like in front of this thing to get it to stop moving even further, if that makes yeah. any sense, to what kind if, of get it to what rear What if up. it's almost like a bowling ball, go, like landing underneath its dropping step? It steps on it and just starts... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
cool. Um, it, that happens, and then it like stumbles to the side, and uh, Abraham, it's a little hard to hold on again, as Bethany lets out this like very sympathetic whine almost. It's very deep pitched still, but you can tell this creature is hurt, and it stumbles to the side. I mean, it's still going to do some fucking damage to something. Um, what, Nick, what do you think it takes out as it, like, changes paths? Like, something in its lizard brain is like, going this way is damaging me, so I'm going to go another way. But what collateral damage befalls the circus? There's uh, a high wire that has two <laughs> acrobats <laughs> standing. Not on the high wire. They got off, but they're okay. on the towers. Oh. And as it runs, its neck catches into the wire. It just tears it down. Yeah. And one of the acrobats falls towards it bethany punts one of the acrobats like just really far great and that's in the middle of a tent too so it like goes into a tent does that the crowd screams around you as bethany just moves out onto the other side uh harrison you follow it uh from above cooper you run through a tent of like freaking out people um as i'm gonna deal hopefully the last round here Bethany moves towards like the barrier of the circus they put up to stop people from uh, just sneaking in without tickets. And then she just starts moving faster and faster, building up to the speed of a Jeep Wrangler as she runs towards the fence. And Bethany bursts through the fence into the surrounding countryside. Okay, Alex, what do you want to do? No penalties. Well, I'm fast as lightning, so I'm going to try Grease and uh, I pull out another, another one of these syringes. Yeah. It's got a uh, lavender colored liquid in it. Oh. With some sort of specks of something shiny. I love lavender. And he's going to try and thrust it into this T-Rex again as it runs. All right. That's one success. Great. I think with this one, Harrison, you like do an Iron Man land where like you thrust yourself back up as you're landing. So you land on its back, stabbing the syringe into it. And this time it's it doesn't even seem angry. It just like lets out like, you know, and then slowly starts to move down this hill and starts to stumble. As Cooper, you run up to this hole in the fence and the T-Rex running down the hill. Cooper is breathing very heavy. He spent the yeah. last like 10 minutes running. Yeah. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's sweating. His glasses are barely hanging on his head. Uh, he wipes a bunch of sweat off his head as he kind of flops it. And he just says, Brittany, you fucking bitch. And he just pulls out his pistol, yeah. his uh, laser. And I'm not aiming at her. I'm going to try to like shoot past her head to kind of like get her to turn. Oh, cool. Just, you know, flashing lights by the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and this is going to be another mad science roll. That's two. Okay. That is 10 successes. It shoots past her eyes and she like turns back to you and stumbles and she starts to fall and then she catches herself. But then her her feet uh, press down into this loose mud and she just slides for like 20 feet until finally she comes to a stop at the end of the hill and then stumbles forward and she doesn't take a knee but like in the way that a dinosaur could she does and she comes to a panting breathy stop abraham lincoln how do you get control of bethany abe hops off of her leg where he was clinging to and gives a thankful wave to harrison who's standing on top of bethany and looks around for cooper sees him in the distance like panting and running up and does the same wave walks around in front of bethany and rests a hand on her muzzle in between her nostrils and we see them flare with her heavy breathing and he says bethany almost a score of years ago we met out in the deadlands when i was lost and you taught me the ways of the wild in this new world come back to me bethany let us be the team that this country needs. It's a real how to train your dragon moment. That's yeah. good. <laughs> Except with a lot more murder. Yeah. <laughs> She's covered in blood. She lets out a yeah. huge roar up to the sky. I think she like pushes into you and you almost get pushed back. 
and then she like nuzzles her whole nostrils into your chest and like you start laughing and she like moves her head from side to side she knocks abe's hat off <laughs> and the cam- from the camera you can see that his harrowed wound from when he was killed is still there oh. like in his hair so there's this gross hole at the back of his head where he was shot maybe she licks the wound a little bit you know like a like yeah. a playful nod yeah yeah i can't get infected it's fine harrison you like fly fly off the t-rex maybe yeah, I, I, I probably just slide off the back, walk cool. towards Cooper. Now that was a midnight show. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be a star. Do you remember what the fuck we were supposed to be doing? Uh, no. I think we were, <laughs> there was some illegal animals smuggling the, those guys out there in the woods. For sure. Uh, I guess we stopped that too. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cooper's like we leaned over, guys. like breathing heavy. He like <sighs> pulls in his fucking... Uh, pulls out his flask and takes a huge swig out of it and then hands it over. What do you say we uh, go get some of that popcorn that's left around there, huh? Something tells me that's a bad idea, Cooper. <laughs> As I look back towards somehow a fire started now. <laughs> yeah. All the tents are down. There's elephants rampaging, lions, tigers, bears. Oh my. Abe, uh, while Bethany is crouched down, swings himself up around her shoulders so he's sitting where you would expect to sit on a T-Rex if you were riding it. And she ponderously gets to her feet and he looks to Harrison and Cooper who are standing down on the ground and he says gentlemen this was not strictly agency approved if you like your jobs you never saw Bethany and you never saw me and he slides his sunglasses back on and pulls his hat down low and says hup hup and grabs the feathers that are on top of Bethany's head from her stupid circus headpiece and turns her head and starts to slowly ride away into the sunset, extremely slowly because his T-Rex is high as hell. Harrison just yells out into the night, I'll never forget you, Mr. Lincoln. I'll never forget you. Doesn't he call himself Honest Abe? He just told us to fucking lie. All goddamn politicians are liars. We gotta gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta get the hell out of here, Goober. But... We try and get in there real quick. See if we can find a baboon real fast. Oh, I bet you they've got one. I bet you they've got one. I heard, I heard some fucking screaming back there. And then I think it's a far off shot. If you were my brother, surely you was mine. Keep on the far in mind. There are many dangers that we all must face. If we die fighting, it is no disgrace. A coward in the service, he will find no place, so keep on the fire in line. Well, 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 the boys have done it again. You can find Nick Robertson, who played Abraham Lincoln, on Twitter at alias58. Thank you so much for Nick coming on and playing one of my favorite characters we've had. You can find him on his two actual play podcasts. Number one, Tabletop Squadron at tabletopsquadron.com, which is a Star Wars Edge of the Empire actual play. His other show is A Night of Shreds and Patches, which is a Genesis diesel punk road trip actual play play i listen to both shows i'm current on a night of shreds and patches uh you can go find a night of shredded patches at akosap.com you can find me on twitter at marshall caleb you can find alex horrell at alex horrell on twitter he of course played agent john harrison and then dietrich cooper was played by cameron reed and you can find him on twitter at cj reed 211 thank you to the winner of our npc contest nuked historian nukes thank you so much you can find Find her on Twitter at Nuked Historian. And if you want to check out her art, including uh, some art of Dr. Trelawney Huxley, you can go to deviantart.com forward slash historian of nukes. Thanks again for participating, giving us Trelawney Huxley for the day. I hope the voice was good enough for you, nukes. Uh, <laughs> it be what it be. Leading them to Jesus from the path of sin. With a shout of welcome, we will all march in. So keep on the fire in line.